and welcome back to Pop Delight. All right, guys, Mickey Rourke has been in the news recently for calling Robert De Niro a but <laughs> it seems that he might be the one that's actually the punk because he agreed to be in this indie filmmaker's movie for the low, low bargain basement fee of $5,000. Like, wow, dude. I know. Like, <laughs> he must have really needed the money, dude. Exactly. Like, gotta pay rent. Yes, exactly. Well, people are struggling up in New York, right? So he agreed to be in the movie. The guy paid him the fee. And then after he paid the fee, they signed the contracts. Well, Mickey decided to be like, nah, never mind. Okay, you think, well, that's kind of douchey, but hey, right? No big deal. They returned the money. But guess what? They returned all the money except $250 that they had paid an intern to write up the contract. So not only is Mickey fallen so far, that his management team is like paying like some random intern to like write up a basement contract, but they also could not afford to reimburse that additional 250 and just like eat the cost. So they kept the 250 and refused to pay it back. What, the, like, <laughs> what, you know, what do you see? Well, here's the thing, right? Like. All week he's been running his mouth about like wanting to beat up Robert De Niro. Yes. And he just goes on and on and on. And like Robert De Niro is another one of those like Hollywood tough guys, right? Mm -hmm. Like he's been in enough movies where now he's convinced himself that he can like beat up anybody. Yes. And so you have these two knuckleheads like going at it because um, Mickey was like saying if he sees De Niro, he's going to like beat him up or something or embarrass him or something uh -huh. like that. And um, I just find the whole thing like funny because you got like... Uh, screen like television tough guys right like yes exactly paper tigers paper you know? tigers yeah <laughs> and they're like both old dude like they should yes. not be fighting and stuff well mickey rourke has been looking pretty like messed up for a while now but what i love is that everyone's favorite new yorker can Michael, you guess? Dude, Michael Musto. <laughs> Michael Musto. Yeah. He guys, came out of the woodwork. Do you guys remember him from back in the day? He was on E. Yeah, with the gossip show. Yeah, dude, he's a very interesting character. He used to work for the Village Voice for a very long time. Pretty funny. Yeah. I loved him on the gossip show. You know what that means? Yes. He's going to have something sassy exactly. to say right here. And, and apparently he's an actor. Oh, apparently, because he was going to be in the movie too, mm -hmm. which was interesting, but... He, rather than being the village voice, was the voice of the indie filmmaker because this is what he said. It was a good break for an up and coming indie filmmaker, speaking about getting Mickey Rourke. But then Eric told me that after everything was negotiated and signed and paid, Mickey dropped out. That's pretty unheard of once a deal has been put in place and paid up. I feel they should have to suffer a financial consequence that comes from reneging rather than come up with this new charge for Eric of him and you know what it worked yeah dude totally so the management team reached out and actually paid back the 250 dollars which i feel like had to have been pretty embarrassing right well dude on an indie film that can be a you know you can stretch that 250 right yeah exactly yeah. you know and here's the thing the guy even had to like scrape together money from family and friends and use his stimulus check to pay mickey that money so it's like you know mickey really did screw him over so you know what yeah, dude, you are totally, totally <laughs> not cool, man. Yeah, and you are canceled. <laughs> That's right. What do you guys think about this? Let us know who is going to win in this yeah. <laughs> uh, battle of geriatrics, right? Yes, the battle of geriatrics. <laughs> and uh, let us know in the comment section mm -hmm. if you like what we're doing here. Definitely check out the description. Why? Because we have other YouTube channels. That's right, guys. One thing that I need you to do before you go, give us a like. Because, you know, that you like what we're doing.